Om Namah Shivaya. I bow down to you all. Thank you. Um, And noticing that there are quite a few people um, not um, not adhering to the guidelines to be careful and not gathering and those things, but um, we are clearly at a point where people are just kind of needing the socialization. They're just not there yet where they um, are able to maintain themselves separate or um, isolated or be okay with um, aloneness. Um, so I wanted to kind of do a little bit of a meditation today, um, more of a mindfulness meditation, um, something to quiet the mind in a simple way and with practice um, it helps to kind of clear out the monkey mind more easily and uh, bring more awareness, a heightened sense of awareness. Um, so I'm here and hopefully you can hear in the background uh, that there's a lot of nature going on. There is the breeze, there is the birds chirping, people in the background, children. Um, the rustling of the leaves and the trees. So lots of sound, lots of external kind of sensory stimulation, um, the sun on my skin, the breeze against my shoulders and my hair brushing against my body. And so looking at those things mindfully being present with whatever is happening in your energy space, in your field, in your environment as three geese. <laughs> Actually, those are mallards. Mallard ducks uh, fly by that, that number three. So significant in this very <laughs> exact moment. Um, just a blessing. That number three is the sign of the Trinity. Um, and they fly back over me. <laughs> So, with the Mother Father representing one, the Holy Spirit, the other, the Son, uh, that Christ energy, um, if you're familiar with Christianity and the sign of the cross, um, that is one way of looking at the Trinity. Then we, of course, have in the Hindu tradition, we have the traditional Trinity as they understand it. So. We are at this time where there is so much opportunity for growth in this experience of needing to be isolated, needing to be self-contained, needing to be in solitude, um, whether that is with your family, if you have children and a partner, or whether that is by yourself when you live alone. Um, lots of testing and challenging of what people can withstand, what people are able to tolerate the level of patience um, that they may be able to experience through this time. So, taking a deep breath in. just to breathe and focusing on the breath and when 
we're focusing on the breath, it's a good practice to get into that you're mindful of how the breath goes into the body. And so bringing the breath in and allowing the diaphragm to expand, the belly is expanding rather than the chest. So the breath comes in, goes into the belly, and you can tell the belly is expanding as you breathe inward in that manner, rather than the expanding of the chest, which it, it just shortens the amount of air that we're bringing into the body. It doesn't allow for us to really bring in fullness into the lungs and the capacity of what the lungs can do for us and keeping its function optimal. So breathing into the belly takes practice to learn if you haven't already learned to do that. And so you want to be mindful of that first and foremost. And so taking time as you're breathing, again, breathing normally. To focus on the breath coming in. physically at the lungs. And then on the out breath, focusing on how the breath releases from the body. And we're just gently breathing in and out the nose. Focus on the breath. Simple practice. Allowing the breath to move Lee and allowing the breath to smoothly and freely move into the body and out, into the lungs and out of the lungs. And so when you get into the practice of understanding how to breathe and, and that breath work and focusing on that modality of breathing, that method is meditation. Mindfulness meditation is something that we are doing as we are in whatever environment we're in. So it could be that you're even something as normal or as average as vacuuming your carpet or mopping the floor mindful of what you're doing mindful of the passes on the floor mindful of the cleaning solution that you're using mindful of the measurements mindful of how you're doing the work and translating that to a stillness meditation where your body is still and so now we're simply shifting the focus to breathing and focusing on the breath and how it is received by the body, how it's 
felt coming in through the nose and out the nose. Taking care that you're filling up the lungs and exhaling all the breath from the lungs. And so where unconsciously many times we are doing some form of mindfulness throughout our day, even when we're doing the dishes, folding the clothes, we're very mindful. We're mindful of how we're positioning the sleeves when we fold the shirt. We're mindful of how much uh, dish soap we're using on the sponge as we're scrubbing, how much water we're using. We're focused on the action. We're focused on what is part of the activity that you're doing. And so this is just more mindful in that you're purposefully taking time and intention to sit and pay attention to something different in this case the breath beyond this form of stillness mindfulness meditation um, we can also focus on other things but for now this will just be kind of a breath mindfulness meditation so mindful of the breath and so take a moment. And just be mindful of the breath. And you will notice at first that you may have thoughts coming in, your to-do list may start running through your head, or you may have thoughts about what you said in an earlier conversation. You may have thoughts about what you need to do later on in the day, and that's fine. What you wanna do while you are in this practice of only focusing on the breath is that you kind of shift away from allowing the thoughts to be your focal point. And as those thoughts run in, you gently ask them to move out. And so it's a constant, no, not constant, but it's a consistent acknowledging and awareness that when the thoughts come in and you understand that it is taking away the focus from the breath, that you then allow those thoughts to dissipate, that those thoughts dissolve. You can visualize that they're floating away on a cloud or maybe in a bubble and they're being taken away and they're floating outside of the mind and away. And so the more that you practice that, the easier it becomes to shift your focus away from what may interfere with your primary meditation versus what you really want to practice as mindfulness. And so I hope this helps you. I hope that the practice will be good for you and easy to integrate. My name is Jennifer Montero. I am a master level intuitive healer, spiritual teacher, coach, and mentor, and a life transformation coach. Uh, my information will be in the box below. If you have any questions for me, please feel free to reach out. And I hope to see you in the next video. Please like, share, subscribe, and click that bell at the link. And you will receive alerts for the upcoming videos that I'll be uploading. Thank you very much. Om, amen, aho. Have a blessed day.